let's do this. G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of The Inner City Hermit. Another solo one, obviously, because it's just me here. There's no one else here, just me. So, uh, unfortunately, um, and if you see my eyes go off to the uh, go off to the right a little bit, I don't have a lazy eye. I'm recording with uh, a new camera. Well, it's actually Kia's camera. She's um, she's got this beauty Canon EOS something fucking brilliant camera thing. So I uh, thought I'd mess around and start filming with that a little bit because the last video, um, when I uploaded it on YouTube, I didn't realize how uh, grainy and shitty it would be. Um, that along with the audio was all fucked up because I used the computer audio, not my mic audio. And I fucking suck at this. I suck so hard at this, but um, I'm hoping that the shit I'm talking is funny which is kind of what I'm going for. I'm clearly computer illiterate. I can't do anything. Um, I started recording this podcast pretty much because I got pissed off. I was trying to set up the laptop with the two mics because as you guys know, I have two mics now. And then one mic fits perfectly, but the other mic doesn't work. So now I can't record with two, but then I put it on a PC and then like... You know, when you, you especially with me, because I'm not computer-minded, like, when I plug something in and then I plug the other thing in, I just think it's going to work. Like, you know, if you, you... It just doesn't make any sense. All I want to do is just record two people talking, but it's always um, it's always harder than, uh, than you, you think it's going to be. And as soon as I fix one problem, another problem comes up. So, for example... Using this computer, uh, using this camera, looks fantastic. You can see all the ugly shit on my face. But when I plug it into the computer, my computer doesn't have that much memory left. So the video is probably going to outweigh the storage and then I'm not going to be able to put it in. And then it's just a learning experience for me. I'm just learning. I'm learning a lot. I'm learning a lot. You know what I'm learning too? Not to get frustrated even though I'm getting so fucking frustrated. <laughs> but I'm learning to keep my cool because that's important and it's a good life lesson. But I'm sitting there and I'm watching all these YouTube videos, like I said in my last podcast, and I'm, I'm trying to take notes. But the, you know when someone who's really good at something tries to explain it and they miss out like little details because you are so stupid, like you don't, you don't know the obvious stuff? Like... Um, They'll say, uh, they'll say things like, yeah, you just get this program and then uh, you'll just sync two, two devices to one network and I'll be like, oh, hey, whoa, 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 sync, sync and what? Like, what are we syncing? Because I can't even, I plug the USB port in, it doesn't even pop up. I didn't even, I can't, I got one mic, I don't know where, where's my other mic? So, um, that's, uh, that was, that was frustrating. That was really frustrating for me, um. So I said at my last, if anyone has any help or tips, just any tips about anything, uh, please hit me up because I, yeah, it's just a blind, I'm, yeah, and I'm going to get my mate James on and he's going to help me out, but he says he's just as clueless as I am, so it's a bit like the blind leading the blind, which will be even more fun, um, but yeah, so it, we're seeing how it's going, it's, it's going, it's definitely going, but, um, yeah, I'm kind of sick of doing the solo ones. The solo ones are they're fun, but um, they're just sometimes in my head I've just got dumb shit to talk about, and it's probably a bit boring. But I mean, if you like listening to dumb shit, it's probably a good thing. Um, but yeah, so obviously been on holidays, um, lots of time on my hands, which is a change. Usually I have no time, and I'm busy, always busy. Um, but at the moment I, I haven't been that busy, which has been nice. It's been really, really nice. And for any, anyone who else is a teacher, you're, you're so highly strung, um, for such a long time during the term and to be able to actually sit down and know you don't have anything to do. I still have stuff to do. I won't lie, but no, the urgency of getting it done is not there is, is really, um, it's a feeling that it, you're kind of not used to. Like, I mean, I sit there, I'll like sit down, like for example, yesterday I just watched, caught up on a whole bunch of TV shows that I missed out on and I was sitting there and it, like subconsciously I felt bad. 
And it's not because I had work or anything to do. Like I didn't have work to do, but I was fixated on something else. So, um, one of my notes that I took down was like how weird brain fixations are. So like, for example, in the school term, I'm so fixated on work. Like every time I'm doing something else, like in the back of my head, I'm thinking like, I need to be doing this as well. Like I I need to put the time in. And then, you know, you took, take school away from me, like it's on holidays. And now all of a sudden, like I'm fixated on this. Like I'm, I'm constantly thinking about like, Oh, I need to record. I need to edit stuff. I need to, even though I have no idea what I'm doing and I have six subscribers on YouTube, which is like, honestly, if I stop doing this, no one would care. But for me in my brain, my brain's like, dude, you need to work harder. You need to do this. So, um, that brain fixation is so weird. And like, if you take that away, then I'll probably find something else. Like I'll get fixated on like playing Mario Kart or some shit. Like it's funny how, I don't know if anyone else is like that, but for me, I I always have to be fixated. Whether it's, if you take that away, it's like fixated on gym or if you take that away, I'm fixated on like, I don't know, reading or something like that. Like I'm always, I'm such a fixated person. And it's kind of shitty because I, I like, like to do nothing. Doing nothing for me is something fun. Like people are like, oh, don't you get bored? And I never get bored. I can't get bored. I, if do, doing nothing is legitimately doing something for me, that's why I like doing. I like doing nothing. It's fun. Um, but yeah, it's it's weird. It's kind of it's kind of like a blessing and a curse. Like it's a blessing in that, like I'm always motivated to do things, but it's a curse because I can't switch off. So, um, definitely talking about it's good. Like it makes me feel, it makes, when I put words out there, like, I don't know, maybe people are the same, but if I put words out of my body and I can like hear them, I can kind of see like, Oh, whoa, that seems kind of stupid. Like, why would you do that? Or why is it's, you, you get a better reality of it, I guess. So, if anyone's like me and you're like, shit, like, I don't know, write, talk, speak, yell, do something. Cause I've started doing this and I now can see like, Oh wow, you're not being very logical in this situation or you're not doing something like this or yeah. So if that's you, like, I don't know, find an outlet, I guess I did. And it's helped me, um, which is good, but yeah, the root of it all back to the main point is I fucking suck at computers and I need help and well I don't really need help it's fun learning but it's getting frustrating like when you when you know it's simple and you're just like just give me just sync the damn mics and let me talk to people that's all I want to do so um eventually I'll get there I'll I'll find a way and you know still got a week and a half left of holidays so plenty of time um, but yeah, cause I've been on holidays, I think, I think a lot, but it's like good thinking, like, uh, not, not thinking it's notice, you notice things like, um, I was sitting down with Kia last night over dinner. We like, we always catch up. We always, you know, turn, we try, we try to, cause we're both busy people. We try to have a chat and, um, you know, catch up on the day. Um, but it, we started speaking about money and, <laughs> I even wrote it down. I wrote it down on my phone because I was drinking at, at a bar on the weekend and this, this like giant yacht, like the gi- this giant yacht drove past and like it was one of those moments where you knew that no one on the yacht owned the yacht and like, you know, they have their phones out and they're like, yeah, and they, you know, give them away. Like they're waving to people, like everyone gives a fuck about them. And anyway, uh, it, I just thought about how fucking funny the illusion of money like (laughs) the dumbest thing in human like human brains like it shows how like kind of primal we are still um the illusion of money is important like people want to look rich so like people you know i've seen people too like buying cars like really nice cars when they probably aren't financially in the situation to do it or they they'll buy like jewelry or something i don't know but like it's all to like look rich which is fine like a hundred percent that's cool i do it i like i buy like nice shoes all the time or i'll buy like nice clothes oh not really nice clothes actually yeah. i'll buy like expensive clothes like uh, a lot of the t- the shirts and stuff I wear are from like independent brands. Like this is Few and Far Collective. Um, 
So like it's really good and really quality designs, but when you look at like the stereotypical like what every dude, you know, button-ups, tight-fitting, nice pants, pointy shoes, like I probably play the same for my stuff, but it just looks different. So like, but that illusion of like I need to look like I'm doing well is so funny, but and like you could say, like for example, I could sit here and say like, oh, I don't want people, like I don't care, I don't, I don't even care about anything, man. But like every, everyone thinks about it. Everyone's like, everyone thinks about like, oh, what, like I want people to see me as doing well. Like what does doing well look like? Oh, it looks like a nice watch. Oh, it looks like, you know, balling out. It looks like, oh yeah, buying, you know, uh, Mercedes Benz or I don't know, something like that. But like if you've got it, spend it. But the illusion of money is something that I find really interesting. So like, for example, these people on the yacht, like obviously not all of them own the fucking yacht, but as they were driving past, like they had to make a big show of it. Like, yeah, it's on the yacht. Look at my Instagram. Like, oh yeah, I'm on the yacht. Like that sort of shit. But the funny thing was that it, it didn't really fool like, I mean, I was walking to the toilet at the time and I was half cut, so I wasn't really paying attention, but I could hear like everyone speaking as I was walking past, like, but, and nothing was positive. Like, I don't think anyone saw a yacht and was like, dude, that guy works hard. What a legend. No one was like that. Everyone was like, oh, what a piece of shit. Oh, I bet you they don't even know it. I bet you they hide it. But like, I think that was funny too, like whether whether the illusion was real or not, but like nobody really bought into it. And then I I thought like the reverse then. My brain was in the circle, it was like, what if the dude on the yacht actually owned it and everyone was just paying him out, like saying he doesn't own the yacht? Like it's like an end, it's it's just like a revolving circle of shit. Like nobody nobody gets it right. So like like if you buy a Mercedes, nobody thinks you're legit. Everyone thinks like, oh, you hide it or anything. But then if you didn't buy it, everyone thinks you did. Like it doesn't make sense. Like, oh man, humans are weird. Like you go to the zoo and look at monkeys and shit, but like realistically, you could just like go out in public and observe people. And it's like the same dumb shit that you'd notice. Like the other thing, I mean, it may have been like different but I figured this when I was growing up, like the older people at the time, like the goal was you didn't want to work. Like the goal was you just wanted to be like, yeah, nah, fuck it. I'm going to retire when I'm 40 and do nothing. Like just read the paper and get coffee every day. And like, that was the goal. Like the goal was to just be comfortable forever and not like, uh, not, and just not work. Like the goal was not to work. And then now it's kind of flipped, like got people want to do big work weeks, like big work weeks are like a cool thing. Like I think it's, it's kind of, it's a positive, like it's definitely a positive, but like the cool thing nowadays is, is to work long. And like people kind of like say like, yeah, I did 72 hours this week or 80 hours this week or like saying how much of a big work week they had. And like, I always found like back in the day, it was like, man, that sucks. Or they'd be really down about it or whatever. Whereas now people are like kind of amped up about like an 80 hour work week. I mean, fuck that. I'm not amped up by an 80 hour. If I have to work more than the hours that I'm paid for, I'm pissed off. Like I do it because I enjoy it. But you know, that's why I, I figured that's why everyone does those big work weeks um, and everything. Cheers, babe. Um, yeah, just getting calls. I should have put that on silent. My bad, my bad. But um, yeah, those those big work weeks. Like everyone wants to do those big work weeks, but um, it, it's just weird. It's it's different. It's so it's such a change of time. Like, and I I guess maybe it's because like it's cool to work hard now. But yeah, I just that's something like I've kind of seen. And yeah, it's odd. It's really odd, but you know, enough of the serious stuff. Like that's just things I've been thinking about in terms of that have been going around in my head in terms of money and, and stuff like that. Cause I'm always someone like, I want to be, I want to be comfortable, but I don't want to be that like baller. Like I don't, there's nothing about like being a mad baller that really 
does it for me. Like I just, I, I, I got friends that I've obviously do, are doing really well and, and like it's, I'm so stoked for them and they're getting lots of money and stuff like that. But for me, I don't, I mean, it's, it's not a, it's not a huge goal. Like I don't, I'd rather, like it's not a massive thing for me to get lots of money. And I think that's been like a realization thing over the past few, like few years actually. Like I kind of was in, got towards the end of uni and I was like, um, like all I want to do is like get rich. I just want to get rich. I want to have heaps of money. I don't want to have any stress, no dramas, no nothing. That's all I want to do is have, is have money. And oh my God. And um, yeah, and yeah, it's been, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. I'm not really sure what I'm trying to get out here. I'm getting distracted. Yeah, it's a, it's a real Matson moment, isn't it? Anyway, yeah. Um, burn my mouth this morning on a coffee. That, um, you know, the funniest thing about burning your mouth on a coffee is you always go back for a second sip. Notice that, like, doesn't matter how much you burn your mouth the first time, you always go back again, but you just do like a more cautious sip. So like, if I'm sipping, it'll be like, oh shit, that was hot. Next one, I'll be like, just as like a tiny sip. Like, it's like, we know it's gonna hurt us, but the coffee's so damn good that we wanna keep doing it. Like, yeah, anyway, dumb, dumb things. I didn't really write that much for this podcast. I think the main thing, like, I don't even know if I'm going to release this podcast. This one is one that I just wanted to test the video and the audio together. So a lot of the shit that I'm talking about, I don't actually have any plans with. Um, so that's that's always fun. It's always fun talking off the top of your head. It's per, I think a lot of people have come up to me and said that they don't know how I can just talk to myself for half an hour. Um, like, I guess it's kind of insane when you really think about it. Like I'm literally conversating with my head to a camera and even Kia was saying that like the way I speak now is not really how I speak when I'm around people. And I guess it's that feeling of not being watched. Like, I mean, technically I'm not really being watched right now. I'm, I, I'm watching myself on the back screen of the camera, which is probably why my eyes will be off to the right. I look real stupid. Um, but yeah, I've never really had a problem with, um, with talking to myself. I remember, <laughs> I remember back in the day I used to have a, I used to have a, like a fake imaginary friend. Like I'm talking like, you know, when I was like 15, no, I'm only joking. When I was like, I don't know, six. And, uh, I remember the character I used to call, I remember the name, I think the name was was like wincy or something like oh i don't know where the fuck i got that name from but i had i had to make it like a bitch ass name because the whole premise of my imaginary friend that i was always i was always competing and beating them like i'd always have these like sing-offs in the toilet like they'd be like it's so weird when you think about it now like i'd sing like a real shitty song (laughs) pretending to be that person and then like I'd come in like a big boy like yeah Wincy you suck and then I'd start like singing a song all whilst I was on the toilet as a seven-year-old like I remember I think my parents would have thought I was pretty fucked on the head I guess they never heard it but like I remember being outside too and I'd be like playing cricket against myself and like I'd be like I'd be like bowling the ball at the at the wall and I'd be like yeah you'll never hit that Matson and I'll be like oh, yeah, fuck you and then I'd like hit the ball like I'm literally playing against no one but myself but it was it was like I was trying to like G myself up like I guess that's probably why I'm so competitive now like I'm so competitive and I always talk shit because I was I, I talk shit to like an imaginary friend God, I owe that imaginary friend a lot of uh, a lot of shit because I think that's uh, that's definitely bred the competitiveness in me. But um, yeah, doing doing dumb shit when you're younger, like you do stupid things, like subconsciously stupid things. Like you don't you don't think anything of it, but then you do it, and then you think back on it as like a grown kind of logical adult, and you just think to yourself like, what the fuck was going through my head? Like why? Yeah. 
But, um, yeah, I guess uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about was a change of scenery. Um, I spoke about it in the last podcast. I like this. I like this setup. Um, I get to kind of show, like, a little bit of my personality with the whole, like, Pokemon thing going on here. Um, the only downside is you get to see my kitchen. So this is where the magic happens. Uh, this is where you I cook all my vegan food. Um, Des, vegan food. Um, bit controversial. Uh, <laughs> being a vegan at the moment because <laughs> of the, the things that have happened this week. Um, people have asked me for my opinion on it and I try to keep out of it. I don't want to get triggered. Actually, to be honest, I'm not very triggered. I don't really... I, I don't think those protests were a good idea. They don't. And uh, people think that because I'm vegan, I have to be all for that sort of shit. Uh, I, don't, I don't really like protesting. I don't like it that much. I feel like it makes people mad. Um, for example, me with the whole vegan thing. And like, I mean, if I was late for work and that shit happened, I'd be blowing up. Like vegan or not, I'd, I've got to get to fucking work. Like I've got to make money. I need to live. Um, so for that, uh, yeah, look, I mean, the message behind it's great and everything, but I think if you're inconveniencing people, you're you're going to make them hate you. Like, I mean, okay, if anyone wants to, like, argue with me, like, come over, I'll, I'll cook you a mad feed, and then you'll, you'll be able to see my side of the story as, like why, like, why it's good. But for me, if I went out and I was, like, I don't know, yelling at you while you're eating or some shit, like, if I was, if that was me, I'd get pissed off as fuck. I'd be like, get get out of my face, like, shut up, I don't care about your point now, because you're just annoying, so, I won't talk too much on it, but that's kind of how I feel about it, I feel like, and it's the same for any, like, political sort of stuff, like, protesting, I, there's a good side to it, but for me, I, I'd never probably, I would never probably protest, it's not the way, I'd, I'd like to conversate rather than scream shit at people, um, so, yeah, if you're wondering how I felt about it, and I know a lot of the people in, like, the vegan community are kind of split down the middle, which is completely understandable because it, it's probably some people's way of action and, you know, if, if you've got the time to do it and you're bored, I guess, do it. But, I mean, most, most people are working on a Monday, so... And I wouldn't be taking any days off to do that, as important as it is. But, I mean, for me personally, the way I went vegan is just because people I kind of understood and people were telling me their opinions and stuff like that. And I kind of got a good understanding, but just through, like, general conversations. Whereas instead of people yelling, at, I think if people were yelling in my face, I'd be like, you know, fuck you, I'm going to eat this. I don't care what you think because you're an idiot. So that's me. And I'm assuming, like, a lot of people are probably on the same wavelength as me with that sort of stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's my opinion on it. Um, I don't really like talking about the whole vegan stuff. I do it as a joke because obviously I like to piss people off. It's funny. Um, but I, I, I kind of like to avoid it. Like I don't, I don't really, oh my God. I told you, I told, like I said this like two podcasts ago. I never get calls ever, never, ever. And I've got four this time, three messages, two Facebook messages. It's ridiculous. It's a, it's a lesson for me. I need to turn my shit off. But, um, yeah. Anyway, just a quick one today. I don't think, I think we'll probably crack around 27 minutes with this one. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to upload it or not. If I do upload it, I hope you enjoyed the shit chat. Probably not as funny as my usual ones, but, uh, you know, I just wanted to test the mic out, test the camera out, see if it works. If it does work, beauty, you can see my face a bit clearer. If it doesn't work and the audio sync fucks up again, then eh, that's what happens. Life goes on, we all move forward. Anyway, thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed that one. I will keep uploading shit as much as possible. Um, whether it's good or not, I don't know, but you know, it's just more important to have stuff out there. But yeah, anyway, stay safe, have fun hermits, catch ya.